Season 20 of Destiny 2 is here, Seasons of Defiance, and with it comes Defiance Battlegrounds as well as the play loop for the season. I'll go over that briefly in this guide. As soon as you complete the first Lightfall campaign mission and you make it to Neomina, you're going to be presented with an option to talk to Mara. Mara is going to request that you go to the farm. Yeah, the farm's back. You know, it's something I personally miss. I think it's cool that it's back. But once you go to the farm, you're going to talk and do some activities there. And then you're going to do a first introductory story version of the Battlegrounds. And again, it's very similar to how it's worked in previous seasons with the Battleground system. When you go in, there's going to be a bunch of Cabal to kill. Then you're going to have a kind of a boss you need to clear out. Once you're through that, you're going to go towards the middle, out towards where the Pyramid Ship is, to try to get the captives. To get them, you're you're going to go into the ascended plane and then you're going to again kill taken that are in there watch out there's things that will boop you off one of the core mechanics you're going to notice as you go through here is as you go through here there are going to be blights that you take out and once you take those blights out you can actually go in and purify them once the blights are down and again that's what you need to actually take out that first boss then you're going to continue advancing through the encounter you're going to get to the actual final boss in the final boss encounter you're going to actually do something that's very similar you're going to kill a bunch of ads you're going to see wizards that are up when you kill those wizards they're going to give you an opportunity to get something that almost looks like a moat that's on the ground you take that back and you put that in the area where you started there in the middle you do that and it gives you an orb you throw that orb at the boss take a shield down you do that a number of times and then you can basically at that point damage the boss you continue to do that advancing forward through the activity watch out as you get further they're gonna be snipers uh, and other things that will give you a hard time but once you do that you finish the activity and get your chest now one thing to keep in mind there is a playlist version of this that once you finish the story mission you'll be able to do the other thing that's going to happen is that if you do this in the playlist of version you're going to have champions and things like that so keep that in mind that you're prepared for that with the right loadouts in mind now the other key component of this is that you have things that are called Defiant Keys. Defiant Keys you get from basically playing other activities. So it's very similar to loops we've seen before. You get your Defiant Keys by playing Crucible, Gambit, other activities. You take those into the playlist version. When you get to the playlist version, that gives you the ability to get additional loot. Now, the loot comes in a, a couple different ways. You actually get loot from the chest, but you also earn up engrams back at the vendor. And again, you focus them. And we'll talk about that here in a second. The focusing, again, is very similar to past seasons. You get engrams. They're, they're not on you. They're at the actual vendor. Use those and actually get the loot, the red bars, and other things that you would like to get. Now, there are upgrades within the helm. Basically, they go into three variants. There's one that, that basically, as you upgrade, you'll get favors. Favors are gotten within the activity when you actually kill so many enemies you get buffs kind of like there's a turn you get like you know your melee gets back faster your grenade things like that there's other items that actually give you better chances of getting keys or giving you rewards when you deposit those keys at the end of activities and there's also upgrades that will allow you to get better engrams and more engrams throughout the activity so again that's the core loop go in play the battlegrounds get use the keys that you got from playing other activities go and get the loot you want get the red bars so you can get the crafted weapons you want and then ultimately upgrade and get the better rewards through upgrading the helm that's the activity hope you liked the video if you did feel free to like the video subscribe to my channel jump my discord and i'll see you guardians in the tower